was able to strike the dream land, which is fine. I think this stage is probably good for both characters. If I had to guess, this matchup is probably an Ice Climber's favor when wobbling is legal. And when it's not legal, it's probably in Doc's favor by a little bit. Oh, you can turn them around, which isn't bad. At least that way, like when they come in on you. Wow, he got the fair spike hitbox. He used the fair hit fair spike hitbox to get a re-grab set up. That's actually the sickest thing I've ever seen. Ice climbers are actually busted, but so is Doc, so let's see let's see what Plika can do. I think honestly if I was Dr. Mario, I would just always turn my back and space back air just using platforms. Wave dash off platforms with back air, short hop back air, full hop back air. You don't want to be directly above them, so it's kind of perfect. Okay, that's good. I'm surprised that down smash killed Vanna. If I felt like she could have drifted too. Okay, got a little bit greedy there with the grab. Okay. Up air, up air. He jumps out of the second one. It's more play by play than analysis, honestly. Just kind of like a stream of consciousness. Okay, so from what it seems like, Palika's having a hard time on the ground against, or Doc is having a hard time on the ground against Ice Climbers, which traditionally is his strongest spot uh, against every other character. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I would probably just be spacing forward here like he's doing now. He probably should have got a grab there, he would have got a kill. I don't know if grab into force or I feel like down throw fair does work against ice climbers, but he's just not trying to risk uh, going for grab and getting wave dash down smash because he's so high percent. Yeah, just keep keep doing that. Make him commit to up airs, and if he whips the up air, then you can come down with the back air. But the problem is on this stage, he can uh, JJM can actually. Short hop up air and still cover platforms. Honestly, on most stages. See, this is perfect. This is a perfect spot where ice climbers are on a platform and Doc is below them. It's exactly what you want. Up air, yep. See, basically, he has to pick at him like this um, for 40, at least 40 percent. And right now, they're both pretty much 40. Okay. This is fine. This is not a bad spot for Doc to be in. Forward throw? Wow. Now, basically, yeah, you want to keep... Nice. Nice grab attack. So here, he literally doesn't have to play against... Uh, Popo. Well, actually, I think that's Nana. Uh, solo climber. Oh, oh, I think he could have paired. I might be wrong. Uh, basically, if I was him, I would just be wave dash jabbing everything. If I was a uh, doc, that was a fair. He's good. He's, he's not really trying to use these fairs to go in. He's like trying to protect the space. Nice. He's trying to protect the space, and he's basically just trying to, to poke every once in a while with the forward tilt, it looks like. Um, really just like, do damage via, via pills, capsules, whatever you want to call them. But at these angles, he can come down with, uh, luckily Doc has like, his back air comes down at, the hitbox itself is like, very horizontal, but you can go downwards with it, uh, falling down, so you can come down with a pretty like strong wall. Nice fair there. Uh, I think Ice Climbers could actually. Nice. Jab down smash looks pretty good. That was actually a good ledge jump. Because Ice Climbers should cover like all the. All the horizontal stuff that's like directly behind them and in front of them. Nice. Basically, he just wants to keep them out. And at the same time, what Ice Climbers are looking for is basically just uh, Wave Dash Jab setups. Which is probably why Palika is Wave Dash Jab and like basically all these things that should combo into grab, right? Um, the problem is Palika's keeping them so split up that 
when he does get random grabs, he has to throw them. He has to throw dot. Nice snare. That was late, so like it did way more percent. Oh, and Doc's down smash actually hits on both sides, which is also like a really good. Uh, nice. <laughs> that was sick. Doc's, Doc's down smash hits on both sides, so it separates the ice climbers, which is actually pretty sick. If he can't down smash Doc, wow. I was gonna say if he can't down smash Doc uh, from his up B. Like get up and then down smash him, then he's gonna have trouble killing him. Uh, JJ manages to find something. Grab. Wow, and don't tell me that's real. If it is, I'm counterpicking Doc Rises from now on. Cause like Fox gets up thrown, up throw fair uh, guaranteed. Uh, Mark gets down throw fair guaranteed. Cheek, I believe at 100% gets like grab into the fair. Wave dash down smash. Oh, he misses the input. Or, like, it's a little bit slow. So, like, even though the percent says set 37, uh, Nana's actually been eating these pills. Uh, taking those multivitamins. Popping designer drugs. And she's probably, like, 80% really. So, okay. He's gonna go for the save. Down smash. He crouch cancels Nana's jab and down smash and kills. Sopo. Actually, uh, this kid Boogie told me to refer to the single ice climber as like a solo climber because they actually switch. When you switch costumes, Nana can be the lead, so it could be Sona. Sonana. Solo Nana. Sona. Instead of Sopo. Okay, so this stage is not FD. But it's like a ghetto FD. I think this is budget FD pretty much for ice climbers. There's no top platform for you to camp them on to make them like double jump since their jump's so bad. And Nana always misses her tech. And the, the back part of the down smash blocks uh, ice climber, single ice climber from actually coming in like with a wave dash or a, a dash to punish Doc, which is crazy. Okay, yeah, Nana like always rolls um, if the other climber is in center stage pretty much. He's not going to die from that, but he's still safe because they haven't synced back up. Okay, that was pretty cool, but that, like if, if Doc isn't approaching, then those desyncs pretty much don't matter. Uh, they can like cancel out the pill that's coming, but the pill can already be in the air. It can already, like he can angle the pills so that it's not completely counteracted. This is not bad for Doc. <laughs> this is not a bad position to be in either. Uh, he's down. So like he'll, he'll, he'll die to like all the aerials that Ice Climbers have, but he has to jump. Like Ice Climber has to jump to do that, which will allow Doc to like find, like reestablish footing. But if he does get hit by it, if he like snipes him out, then it's whatever. He's also scaling his aerials by fighting the pills. But that doesn't really matter. Like, okay, so he actually gets to desync into grab. Desync blizzard into grab. He's gonna roll, yeah. Ice climbers are like notorious for rolling. He should have back aired there, but he gets the kill on the soul, the single climber. Cleans it up. Doc coming down with like he can he can full hop come come down with an aerial even after his wow that was ballsy grab and he punishes the no tech and wow he's dead yep he should have just uh tried to recover alone with side b like nano was definitely dead because of the throw oh he could have matched out of that faster west balls would have if you've ever seen west balls mash then aspire to be like that like you gotta be ready to DI, but you also have to be constantly uh, putting inputs from like right before you get grabbed on the right side of the controller. And yeah, you don't really want to go into there because it's not the worst place to be in. But like if they tech and grab or something, then you're kind of 
I don't want to say the word. It's not esports, but <laughs> it's a good game. This is not bad. Like that's the worst spot for ice climbers to be in. I would be. I would rather be on the other side of the mountain, honestly. Oh, he wave dashes. That was so fast. Wave dash grab, and he back throws immediately. Nice grab on the platform. That way he couldn't grab him after. Uh, if I was Palika, honestly, I wouldn't be afraid to nair, like, to overshoot nair uh, on the shield, because they, even though they get, uh, they can back air, they, it's just not really like, you can shield the back air, and you, you you're like pretty much. All right, so the risk reward is like very good for being able to just at least hit one of them. Like, you see how vulnerable Ice Climbers are right here? He can overshoot Nair, definitely. He should overshot Nair there instead of forwarding. Just because Fair is more positive. Oh my god. He landed right in front of him. This is fine, though. Uh, both Climbers are, like, at death percent, pretty much. And Palika's probably going to be looking for down smashes and fares, but what he should be looking for is more grabs, probably. Like right there, dash grab. And you know JDM is literally just looking for wave dash grab, so... No. Damn, he was like 38%, so... Transformation doesn't save him, which happens pretty often on this stage. I don't remember, like, the intervals at which they the stage transforms it's probably like 40 i don't know honestly don't know the intervals but every once in a while you'll get lucky when ice climbers are wobbling you and if you're at the right uh, the right side of the stage where it changes completely like uh and you're off the platform that's emerging then you pretty much it cancels out the grab and you're just released and then it's like thank god i have a stock now instead of just being in wobble I don't know how good. Okay, the stage is actually really good for non ICs. Although Battlefield is better. Uh, if I had to guess, JJM probably banned Battlefield. Because that's what people do apparently. He's really riding this platform out. Oh, uh, he got kind of lucky there, honestly, um, JJM, because he, I guess what he was looking for, what he was hoping for was that one, or, which you can regrab, or forward, and it's RNG. Uh, usually, like, oh, shit. All right, he can fare this again. Uh, decides to focus on this, the actual controlled ice climber just down smash yeah he's struggling to kill this and that's probably what you want to look out for yeah he went for the spike uh, wobble again the spike regrab i feel like kalika is like a little bit scared to play horizontal but it's one of it's one of the best like doc is really good at the horizontal game no way the get up attack combos or like has him in the air and he gets hit right towards the arms of Nana, the front climber. It just looks like uh, basically Palika's not utilizing like his different options that open up after after uh, ice climbers are actually high percent. Like you, you get a lot more options. Nair isn't scary. You don't get crouch cancel grab. Good turn around grab to punish him, but yeah, just wait, just wait for the wait for the spot dodge. Obviously, after <laughs> after it happens a few times, wow, he's doing a lot of percent, keeping him in the air. He needs to clean this up. And of course, yeah, don't even just look for an air right here. I think. If he shields it, you you overshoot. It's kind of like Pikachu's overshoot air. Like you just end up so far behind them that they can't punish you out of shield. Oh, back air or something. 
I guess it was scary because Ice Climbers are at 0%, so even if he back aired, he could have got Crouch Cancel grabs. But I think if he dr if he back aired and drifted forward uh, towards the White Climber, then he would have not gotten grabbed and then could have gotten a down smash, which would have been punished probably, but he could have killed the Nana. It's too bad these are best of three because and when you're down the game three like this, it's like, damn, if this was a best of five, I could have adapted more to whatever was happening in the set. And the game's over.